and future conference rivals as well in the SEC. Yeah, and it's a, it's a real treat for a college player to play in that kind of atmosphere. Swing and a miss, another strikeout, and that'll end it here in the first inning. A couple of strikeouts for Bryce. This ballpark has been the center of the baseball universe for about a decade now. First pitch to Matthew Polk, well struck. And that is out of here. That one got out quickly from Matthew Polk, who was inserted into this Vanderbilt lineup about 30 minutes before first pitch. And boy, does he deliver. It's funny how that happens sometimes. You don't think you're playing, and then all of a sudden you're added to the lineup late. In degrees in this building. <laughs> it was cold. You layer up, huh? Best you can. Strike out there from Cunningham on Jonathan French. Four trips for the Commodores. Called third strike there. Reynas didn't like it. And he'll walk slowly back to the dugout. And that is strikeout number four early here for Cunningham. Looking for more here. Swung on, popped up in the infield. Harold Cole calls everybody off underneath. Two and two, swing and a miss. And strikeout number six for Cunningham. Swung on, that one's gonna fall into center field for a base hit. Here comes RJ Austin rounding third in easily for the second run of the game for Vanderbilt. On a hitter that's kind of guessing off of him. Well struck, and that's going to go over the wall into the Crawford boxes. And he will take the try. That's Cameron Nichols. The left fielder, Troy Leneve, made a run for it there at the warning track, just over and into the Crawford boxes for the solo home run. That was the pitch. That sixth hit of the contest for the Commodores. That one's going to go to the left field corner. Matthew Polk continues his big day. And here comes Hewitt, rounding third, and not in time at home. Hewitt scores easily, and it's a stand-up double for Matthew Polk. Downtown Houston. Called third strike, McIlvain. Little four had a single back of the second inning and a double in the seventh, so he's had a good day at the plate. Well struck to center, but that's going to hold up for Calvin Hewitt. And that's